so here we've got a shot of our, um, you can actually see this is an ACIQ 48 HPB. Um, now this system is not hooked up for communication. This system is actually hooked up for 24 volts, uh, so which is okay. That's no big deal. Uh, but what we really want to talk about in this video is a few important things when you're wiring up the outdoor unit so you do not uh, essentially fry your board. So off the bat, I'm going to point out that this has L1 and L2 and of course your ground here. Um, and what you want to have is 208 or 240 volts. So if you see, if we go from here to here, you will see that we've got 213 volts. So we're on 208 here, but that is perfect. Uh, if you check each leg to ground, uh, you should get 120 volts, which you see we got 125 there. And if I go to L2 to ground, you'll see I got 124 there. So you'll see this is your high voltage. You can see it's coming in in a whip here, right? This is your seal tight whip, which is perfect. So nothing too crazy there, but just something to be aware of is you should have L1, L2, and a ground. This is a 208, 240 volt system. Now, where things get a little more important and complicated is this right here. This is our outdoor communication board. And what we've had a big issue with is on this board, uh, people incorrectly hooking it up and killing uh, the board, essentially frying the board. So what I want to point out on this setup is you'll see that on this top row, we've got S1, S2, B, W, and D. You see right here, there's a little arrow pointing up. And on the bottom row, we've got R, C, Y1, Y2, and L. And there's an arrow pointing down. Well, what's kind of tricky about this, and you can actually see it here, is on the bottom row, there's a plastic cover over the actual terminal strips. If you look here, you know, it's pretty evident, right? We've got all our connections. We can, we can see those. But on the bottom here, it's hard to see. That actually flips up. But you can see in this scenario, we've actually got some wires running underneath there. So what you got to really make sure you do is if you're hooking up R and C, which you can see we've got a red wire and a blue wire right there, they do not go on this top. They only go on the bottom here. So if you take 24 volts to these top two connections, S1 and S2, you will fry this board. You cannot do that. Uh, so in this case, you'll see that we've got red and blue down below here, right? We've got a black wire hooked up right here, which is for B, for our reversing valve. And in this case, we've got a yellow wire, which appears to be hooked up to Y2. So this, this is 24 volt wire. This is not shielded. If you're not doing communication, you don't have to use shielded. So this 24 volt wire is perfectly fine if you're not using the communication between the indoor and the outdoor unit. Um, in this case, that's what we have here. So, so really the most important thing, once again, I can't uh, stress this enough, is that this top row, this top row of terminal strips is what's referenced by this top row of lettering. This bottom row for the terminal strip, there are terminal strips behind there. It's just covered by this plastic cover, and that's this bottom row of lettering. So never, never take S1 and S2 from the indoor to this bottom, and never take R and common from this bottom row to the top. You will cause problems. So that's a quick service uh, announcement there. Uh, we will uh, hopefully uh, get a video of the opposite setup but this is a perfect example. Once again, the most important thing to understand is there's a top row and a bottom row. The top row is exposed. That's where S1 and S2 is. The bottom row is covered by this piece of plastic right here, and that's where your R and your common is.